<laughs> right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Grounded. And we left off the previous episode, as you guys know, we actually started rebuilding our base here. And uh, it is currently looking kind of like a castle. We are still not there yet because we have so much more work to do. Uh, and I didn't really have time to go and uh, collect some more resources, to be honest, to finish it up. But what I'm trying to do in today's episode, I think I'm going to start organizing and kind of getting this base to be kind of, I mean, this lower part here. I think we're going to get this one to be kind of the storage place, to be honest. Uh, because it might be easier for us to just get down here and uh, collect storage stuff. Of course, we have two sets of ladders, right? We have this ladder on this side that I'm probably going to use the most. We also have another one here that Mateo wants to keep on holding on to. Uh, we're probably going to get rid of this one because it just doesn't... Uh, offer any use uh, now that we have one ladder, right? But I do have quite a bit more work to do. And what the heck is with all this stuff here? <laughs> Apparently, Matteo has dropped a lot of mushroom slurry here on this side. Not sure why he did that. Uh, but as you guys can see, we have a lot of things to still finish on this side, though, to uh, kind of start working on finishing up our base. But we need a lot of stems, and uh, I don't really feel like going and uh, collecting some stems at the moment. So that's why I'm actually going to focus on... Let's place a little bit of that. Uh, that's why I'm going to focus on trying to uh, finish as much as possible out of the base as we can. Uh, I also see this fella kind of... I think I'm probably going to make his uh, den here, maybe on a different spot. I'm not sure exactly. Because I was saying, this is probably going to be our main base, right? Where we are holding on to all our resources. Uh, probably this wall is going to be full of crates. I think. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to want to do, to be honest. Just to have this wall full of crates so that this is where we're going to come on over and collect all the resources that we need. Uh, we have a lot of work that we still have to do here. And, of course, organizing that I did not manage to do at all. Absolutely at all. Uh, we do have a few more structures, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that we got to place up top. The mo but the most important ones are, of course, going to be the floors because we do not have any more stems. And without those stems, we cannot finish up this base. Um, this is kind of showing you guys how this is going to look when it's going to be done. We also have a huge hole here in the wall because we cannot finish up the base because of this uh, straw <laughs> making its way through it. But uh, there's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Actually, I can easily, easily go and customize this one that we already have copy we can easily paste the settings on every single one of them just like that so as i was saying i think i'm gonna make this wall yeah i think i'm gonna make this wall so let me get rid of these everything is gonna go down on this side i know mateo wanted this because he kind of liked um the corner here but we already have a corner over there so no reason to have a set of stairs on this side since one of them is already doing its job so i'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. There we go, buddy. And we are gonna have to Aww, fix up the floor as well. Allergies. Two guys got allergies. He's fine, buddy. Don't worry about it. Alright, get rid of this. Get rid of this. And set a floor over here. But of course, we're gonna need stems uh, to finish this up. So, I think we're probably gonna have, as I was saying, all the resources all the way on this wall. Uh, this means I'm also going to have to move our little buddy here on a different spot as well. Uh, just because we kind of... I think I'm going to... I don't even know where I move him. <laughs> I don't even know where I want to move him. Maybe I'm just going to allow him to kind of go through here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me just move these chests all the way to this side to kind of see how this is going to look. Of course, I'm probably going to have to make... Yeah... Uh, let me see how I can build this properly. So we can definitely have... Um, either grass walls, uh, floors actually, half grass floors, right, to place the uh, chest on. Or... Can we also make wood stem floors half? I don't even know. Yeah, we can make the... Oh, yeah, we can make these ones as well. But if I make these ones, they're going to require um, a lot of wood stems. So I think I'm going to go with the grass instead. Yeah, and because I'm using the grass, I can actually move this one out of the way. Grab these ones. And we can simply place them like this. And kind of make... Let me move this one out of the way as well. Uh, kind of make, like, more spaces for the chest to go on. 
Yeah, this wall is going to be full of chests. That's what we want. It's going to be so much better. Uh, and we can also kind of make like a corner over here if you want to. Yeah, just like that. To again place even more chests. Uh, we're going to need the light over here. There we go. This light. Uh, I guess I can place it over there to be honest. Just like that. But we can also place lights on the actual wall. But the thing is, since we're going to place chests in here on the... Um, on this area, I don't think having the chests on the walls is going to be a good idea. Alright, uh, and the great thing about it is that we have a lot of resources behind this wall, right? Which means we can instantly just build without a worry. There we go. We have a lot of grass we're going to go through right now to finish, uh, to finish building this up, so that is great. I absolutely love the building mode in this game. It's just so good, so good. Alright, let's bring... The lights over to see what we're doing and thankfully we can kind of glitch these lights through the uh shells which is not bad you can definitely place them like this and these chests are easily going to be placed down at the bottom and at the top okay i like it i like it uh we're gonna have the green ones maybe the green ones are going to be the first ones since while well, we're using a lot of green materials and resources so let's place the green chests over there uh, we are going to organize them in just a second. First of all, I got to make sure I move them out of the way. Uh, I think I'm going to probably move my little friend here to this corner instead. And maybe have their houses. Like one on the side and one on the other side, right? Uh, yeah, I think this is Mateo's house. So I'm going to leave this one in this corner. Unfortunately, guys, as you guys can see, we have lost one of our little buddies. So I'm going to place them. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to make, like, a cemetery outside because we're probably going to lose a lot of these fellas. <laughs> and I think I'm going to want the little fellas to be, like, right close to their houses over here. So maybe my tail is, uh, yeah. Actually, hold up. Is this mine? Oh, none of them is mine. What? Hmm. Okay, let me make me this one mine then. There we go. We deposited him. So he's going to be inside this house, and I think I'm going to make his uh, den, like, right close to it. Come on. Just walk a little bit more. No, why are you going that way? Okay, at least I'm gonna close you up in here, I guess. Uh, close that up as well. And we got him! Um, finally! Dang it, this took so long to finally lock him in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the house away so that he's not gonna be stuck in that position. So let me place his house, like, right about there. I'm gonna move the house the other way, but I need him to, uh... Move away a little bit. There we go. We finally, finally got him. Man, this was uh, quite a bit of work. All right. Uh, we got a little guy in here. Let me next up organize this one. So this one is only for green. So let's just place green stuff in here uh, and organize everything. Let me remove the stuff that is not green from this spot. I guess the sour lumps could go in here as well, but I, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think this is the place for it. So I'm going to remove it out of that one. Uh, the stones are also going to come next to this one, but I'm probably going to place them up top, to be honest. And this is where all the stone stuff is going, right? Maybe including even the shields. I'm not I'm certain sure if I want uh, the shields in here, but I guess uh, we're going to have to wait and see for now. All right, perfect. That's going to do. Let's keep on organizing a little bit here. Of course, uh, Sunrise has arrived as I was struggling quite a bit. <laughs> To try to organize uh, and get this guy stuck into a different position. But now that we did. Let me get rid of some stuff from my inventory just so that I can bring more stuff over. And then we're going to try to organize them even more. Alright, perfect. Man, but look at our base though. It looks really spectacular to be honest. Really loving the look of our base. Uh, can I make more slurry? Yes, we can. Don't think I want that one. Spoiled meat, I don't want that one. I want this. And with that, we can also go ahead and make even more of this stuff. I don't even know if we need any more bricks, to be honest, because we have so many bricks, it's not even funny. But just in case, I'm going to make a few more. Right, let's move these ones this way, as I was saying. 
So we're going to have all the chests on this side and probably the factory stuff that's going to need the resources out of it is probably going to come like uh, surrounding this boulder, I think. Yeah, it would have been great if we didn't have this boulder in the base, to be honest, but what can you do? We got to work with what we got here. All right, next up we got the shields on this side. Let me go grab some water because we are kind of thirsty at the moment. Uh, come on, buddy. Give me no water filtration tablets needed. And also eat up a little bit. Not bad. And while we're at it, let me also go ahead and hack down just a few more trees because we are gonna need the resources out of them. And we do have quite a bit of trees right here that I can make use of. We did get some enemies destroying our base here, so I'm gonna have to fix this up again. Um, that was pretty annoying when they did it. So because of that, and also start fixing everything up. Wait, why can I not? Hmm. Uh, we're gonna need pebbles, of course, and clay. So let me go ahead and get myself a little bit of clay here. What about in here? Yes, we do. Perfect. And stone as well. Uh, and I'm also gonna grab these ones to finish up what I'm building. And let's just get this one close to the stone crate as well. Man, this is going to be so much better. I cannot wait to finish organizing this place. So those of those two are both stone. That's what we need. Let me just go ahead and uh, finish fixing up the base. There we go. There we go. This is going to have to go in here. Awesome. Let's finish this up. And... A little bit of clay down there it was, apparently. Let's also grab these ones and place them at the bottom. Build up, build up, and now... Dude, can you please get out? There we go, so I can build. Did not want to put that one up there. This one is going to also have to go away. Go. Alright, so that's what I'm talking about. And what I'm also going to have to do here, probably I'm going to have to make sure... Um, I, bring, I bring some spikes over, right? I'm not going to build them just yet because I think we're out of spikes. But I do want to have spikes like right about here, just in case we get attacked again. Like we did previously. We're going to have a little bit of protection. So, you buddy. Then come... Up there. Oh, I don't like it. Definitely don't like that. Okay. Copy and paste over here. Alright, there we go. Let me get rid of this stuff. Perfect. We're gonna be going through our resources when we're gonna be done with this base like crazy, but it has to be done. All these things have to be done. So let me place a few resources here. There we go, just the stuff that we have on us for now. And I'm gonna keep on making this, these spikes all the way to this side. We are gonna have to go around, right? Um, wait, how do I want this one? This one is apparently too steep, obstacle blocked. I think I want to make one more on this side. There we go. Just placing a few wood stems in here because at least we have it for now. Yeah. We're going to need lice to be done. Oh, man, we have so much work to do. So much work. Let me look at that. It is going to take us a while before I'm going to be able to finish all this stuff up. We need lights around our base because we can barely see what we're doing here. And have a huge tree that I can actually chop down here. So let me get this thing up. This is going to give us a lot of wood. Look at that. And not to mention, I think I'm also kind of out of dry grass. So that is also going to be something I need to collect. Is this spider seriously coming towards me? Is he seriously trying to engage with me? 
Buddy, you miss. You miss so bad. Come here. You're getting destroyed right now, buddy. Man, spiders stand no chance anymore against us. They're so easy to take out. Help! I'm stuck! There's another one coming again. Wow, seriously, buddy? Come on. Show me what you got. Man. Alright, perfect. Let's keep it going. Alright, let me bring back home some more wood. Right, there we go. And there is a, another stack of wood. Now, let's see how much we can actually build with all this wood that we collected. Uh, it's not that much, right? It's not like a, a lot of wood that we just brought over. But, hopefully, it's uh, it's going to be enough for now, at least. Don't even need to boil a little it. bit of water. Get some energy here. And uh, let me see if I can grab the wood from all the way down there, actually. It might not work. So, for this one, it does work, of course. But what about these ones on the second floor? Oh, it does. It does pull it up from it. That is so good. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Building in this game is the best thing ever. And I think we are completely out of stems. Are we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are out of stems. Yep, for sure. <laughs> As I was saying, I need a lot of stems if I want to keep on building this up. Um, which, uh... Which means we're gonna have to put a lot of work into actually finishing this up, of course. Hold up, I'm stuck. Here we go. And let us see. So, in here we got the greens. Uh, this one is not green, so let me move it over and bring another green chest. Let's see. I think we have, yeah, another one here. Okay, so we got two green chests all the way at the bottom next to each other, exactly as we enter the room. So this one's gonna be also for green. Uh, let me make sure I remove the stuff that is not green inside. Oh, never mind. Let's do a little bit of that then. And now, also do that. Remove these ones. And remove the stuff that is not green from here. Okay. And I'm gonna move it to a different chest so I can organize the other stuff. Okay, this one is stone, so it has to go in here. Perfect. And now I want to get rid of the torch. Alright, I think I'm going to get rid of the slurry as well for my inventory so I can carry more. Uh, let me also go ahead and cook something because I will need some food very soon. Aww, that guy's got allergies. Don't worry, buddy. You're fine. Alright, this is going to go in green. Which is right over here. Okay, nice. Of course, the algae is also green, right? So we're definitely going to have to hold on to that one in this slot as well. It's a little bit annoying to have them all the way up there, to be honest. So maybe I'm going to place some lights over there. And these uh, are probably going to be enough. Yeah, I'm not going to make a... Uh, I'm not going to place them that high up then. So, let me grab... We're probably going to need another chest for green stuff and uh, stones. So the bug stuff is going to go... Here then. We could also kind of place the food at the bottom before below the bugs. And here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, so he made the chest only for spoiled meat. I get it. So that's spoiled meat that we're going to have to have in here. And food that we're going to have to have in here. Uh huh. Okay, in that case, let me move the spoiled meat inside the spoiled meat chest, which is here. There we go. Uh, I think I'm also going to have the rotten food in here as well, to be honest. And move the rest of the stuff in the other chests. Nope, that is spoiled meat. Let me put it back in. Alright, organize. There we go. And the good food is going in here. Organize. Grab the stones out of this. So that's candy. It is going to have to stay here, of course. This is salt. And these are also spicy shards that are also going to go in the food. And sprouts. There we go. Uh, this is going to need another chest for stones. This is going to need another chest for 
greenery stuff. Uh, thankfully, we can kind of build these ones, but of course, I'm going to need more uh, sap. Aww, which, to be honest, I think allergies. we don't really have any more right here. Because I just cannot see any sap. No water filtration tablets needed. Yeah, I don't know where the sap chest is. I must have placed it somewhere else. Because I know for sure we have a uh, chest that's kind of having the uh, sap icon on it. But I just have no idea where it is. Can I maybe go to sleep and reset today? Yes, we can. And what I think I want to do, I think I want to get rid of that wall. I think what I'm going to do there, I'm going to make kind of like a balcony. So that it's going to be easy for us to actually access that area at the bottom. Uh, I'm still going to have to keep on looking for... Um... The other chest, because I'm pretty sure I'm missing a chest here. I'm not sure exactly where we left it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and look around for it. Uh, we'll add it. Let me make the balcony here. Actually, should I have kind of like a balcony like this? Yeah, I think I'm going to make kind of like a balcony like that. Um, okay, let's keep it going. I don't know if I, uh, I want to have a rooftop on it, but I don't think I can even have that. Okay, there we go. At least we can make these ones for now. And, most and I'm, of course, going to make the wheat stem stuff as well. Once I'm going to get more wheat stems, I'm just going to have to go ahead and look for them. So, yeah, making a balcony here is definitely going to be much, much, much better. Probably going to have to do the same at the top as well or something like it. For now, let me collect me this stuff back and see if I can find my chests. Where are they? Where did I leave them? How did they disappear on us? Because I know for sure we had a chest where we placed all the... Um, all the sap in. I definitely don't see it anymore. Where? Oh, there we go. There's the wax chest. That's what I was looking for. If I place this one here, we're not going to have enough to make the fire and see what our little buddy's doing. There we go. All right. So the sap chest is... Probably going to go right here somewhere. Bug parts and all that stuff doesn't have a spot in here. We're gonna have to organize this one as well, of course. Finish this chest up. Finish this chest up. Uh, this one's also gonna be green. And for the icon, of course, green and the leaf. Where's the leaf? Where's the leaf? Right over here. All right. Perfect. I'm gonna grab one of each. So grab one of these, I guess. Place it here as well. Okay, we need one of these. We're also going to need a little bit of rope as well. If I go into this one, only the green stuff is going to go just like that. And this way, it's going to be very, very easy to actually organize things, right? All right, next, we got stones. So let's go with stones, icon, great icon, and kind of like the stone symbol that I can no longer see for some reason. There we go. Perfect. I think I can hear some bugs just dying by my base here. Because they keep on stepping on my traps. Look at that. <laughs> Free food and stupid freaking... <laughs> Look at these. Oh my god. So many of them died here. Are you kidding me? Why were there so many? Holy smokes. Man, these traps are actually an easy way to get yourself a lot of resources, to be honest. Of course, unfortunately, they kind of destroy my trap. But we can always just rebuild it if you want to. That is just so funny. Yeah, I do have the tools on me to allow me to fix things up. So it's fine. I think they actually broken another one here. Are you kidding me? Or maybe never mind. This one, for some reason, moved automatically. I'm still, of course, not done right with uh, building the um, spikes around the map. I still have quite a bit more work before I'm going to get to that stage. But uh, we're getting there. Eventually, we're getting there. Let me go ahead and get myself more sap. I think we're kind of running out of sap here. Uh, we do have some food here that I'm going to actually cook because I'm going to need some food very, very soon. Both of them. Uh, let me try to go ahead and analyze this uh, shiny bug that we have on us. Why are there so many ants around? Alright, what do we got here? So if I go into Analyzer... There we go! I don't think it's going to give us anything. It's just probably going to be uh, give us uh, real science. <gasps> Never mind, we can actually get a stuffed scab. And a scab mount, of course. What? Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually befriend these little critters, the scabs, I wonder. 
So if I go to the inventory, of course, now we can make this cab, right? This fella. Stuffed. I would love to have one. I think we do have enough to make one, though. But at the same time, I wonder if you can actually befriend them. Uh, because if you do befriend this cab, you might actually get some really impressive resources. Because this cab itself uh, is a very rare bug compared to the other ones. And it's also not really easy to catch, right? Because he keeps on digging the ground as soon as he sees you. Alright, let's get ourselves a little bit of wood. Because we still need to build the surface up there. We're not done with that part. Not to mention all these spikes need to be done as well. We have so much work to do. Oh, actually, I don't even need to carry it. All I gotta do is just place it in here. Same for these things. Dude, these ants need to leave. What the heck? I may just have to go ahead and bring... Uh, I mean, look at that. What are they all doing here? Why are they all getting close to my base? They are very soon going to start attacking me because I keep on killing so many. I mean, look at that. What are you doing here, buddy? Get out of here, guys. This is not a place for you all to hang around. Come on. I definitely need to remind them that this is not a place for them to uh, hang around. I don't know if by building these things, it's going to scare them off or not, but... I should start building more of these. <laughs> they keep on getting around my base so much, and it's so annoying. Get out of here. Just leave already. We're going to have the tools. Uh, three chests for tools, three chests for shields, I guess. And probably inside the shield chest, we're also going to place those shards, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, probably going to have it like that. Okay, so that's going to be just tools. That's also going to be just tools. And I think we're going to make probably another one for just tools as well. While this one is going to move its way at the bottom. And another one for wax all the way up here as well. So let's also make this one wax. Let's also... Did not want to do that. Um, let's go with gold and for the wax icon. I think it's this one, right? Okay, so we got wax and wax. Okay, perfect. And we're also going to probably need like another chest for bugs. Um, so we may have level 1 stuff for bugs. Level 2 stuff for bugs. And also we're going to have a row uh, for something that's coming out of the bugs, but it's no level, right? It doesn't have a level. So probably that's what this is going to be. And if I want to also rename this one, it's going to have this icon. And it's just going to be bug stuff. There we go. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Okay, okay, okay. In that case, you buddy are going here. Almost had it. You are going to move here. This one is going to be... No, copy. Up here. Alright, so this one's going to say... Bug... Actually, let's go with small. Bug stuff. Okay. It's going to be this tiny bug. And it's going to be yellow. Same for this. Bug stuff. Icon. This and yellow. Alright. This way we can kind of differentiate them a little bit, right? We're going to know that this one only holds... Uh, stuff that are not really the, like the bug parts. Which, for example, is the grub sludge. This is a bug uh, part, so I'm going to leave that one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab this. Uh, the mite fuzz and the glands as well. And this is just going to be called book parts instead from now on. So, let's move these ones inside here. Just like that. One of these, one of these. A few of these, a few of these, and one of these. Are all going to go in this one instead. Right? Much, much better this way. Um, even probably the grub hides as well, to be honest. And water 
both men thin could go in here. But no, that's fine, that's fine. All right, these ones are going away. And this one. And they're all going in here. All right. Bug parts. All right, there we go. Everything has been organized much better now. Uh, what I'm missing is heads. I need to also place heads in here. There we go. Okay. Love it. Much, much better now. We're definitely organizing here. Uh, we did get ourselves quite a bit of wheat stems, so let me keep on building up a little bit if I can. Uh, I think I'm going to focus on the balcony, actually. Dang it. Of course, we don't have enough. Of course. I'm also going to have to get myself some rope. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, and the wax stuff is... I could place the wax over here, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to place the wax over there, both of them. Because we're kind of using a lot of wax into our builds. I think I kind of need it. Uh, can I maybe put this one and There we go. Now it's going to be straight. All right, so we got the wax over here, perfect. Uh, that's wax stuff on this side. And if I go for this one, this one is empty at the moment. But what I need is rope. So I guess I'm gonna have to make myself a little bit of rope here. Yeah, let's just make ourselves a little bit of rope. All right, there we go. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I also already started getting myself some wood, right? Uh, get this going. Turn it on. Yeah, I think I already chopped down some trees. I just didn't uh, have the time to collect the wood out of it. We are running through resources like crazy, though. Uh, let me actually grab these ones because all I'm going to have to do is just place them all the way to the top where we already have uh, where we need to build up our base. We could have, of course, used grass to build up this thing, but you know what? It definitely looks much better like this. And I just need one more wheat stem to finish this up. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> and of course, light. Light is also going to be something I'm going to have to place up there. I think I'm just going to place them like just like that. What do you mean it's not supported? Yes, it is. Of course, now we need more materials. Which, unfortunately, I do not have at the moment. There we go. Oh, having a balcony here. Best idea ever. Love the look of it. Alright, there we go. I managed to bring quite a bit of uh, wood over. Let me just fix this back up again. Build this back up again. Let it grow. Let me make my way up top and try to uh, get this working as well. What's up with these things, though? Where did he, these ones come from? I'm guessing from the thing that I just destroyed. Yeah. Hmm. So I knew it. I knew that where they went somewhere strange. Because every single time you're destroying something, I knew that you're getting everything back. But for some reason, we didn't get it there. So I was a little bit confused about it. There we go. We're not going to be able to still finish this up because we need so many more resources still. <laughs> and we are completely out of stems again. Gosh dang it, dude. This is going to require us to get so many stems. These lights are so much better placed on the wall like this. So much better. And this second level, well, this is going to be, this is going to be probably kind of like our uh, rooms, right? So we're going to have to figure out how we want that to look. Thankfully, bugs are not smart enough to uh, climb inside our base here. Thankfully. Thankfully, this little guy is going to be safe. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. We got some more presents. Love it. I unfortunately did not uh, collect the mutation. I did not unlock the mutation that would allow me to carry more stuff. Because I know that there's one that allows you to carry 10 stuff. And I 
pretty sure you can even combine it with others that allow you to carry even more than just uh, five that I'm collecting right now, or maybe even more than ten. I'm not exactly sure how that works. So let's grab another one here. These wood stamps are going to take quite a bit of work before I'm going to be able to actually collect every single one of them. All right, there we go. And we almost got ourselves another two stacks full of wood stamps. Uh, we also have to keep on doing these ones, of course. JS. Another one with the lights here. But uh, the reason I didn't finish the lights is because I wanted to go ahead and get more wood stamps, right? Since nighttime was coming. S. There we go. And I am going to also turn this one on because apparently I didn't do this one. Perfect. We still have quite a few more. I don't know if I have enough resources. Hopefully we do. There we go. Finally done. Yes. At least done with the lights at the top. We are going to have a bit more work to do, of course. For now, though, let me keep on building these up. We're going to go through uh, these stems again like crazy. Okay, I guess one bedroom is going to be on this side. And we're both going to have access to the balcony. <laughs> Having our own bedrooms and everything, that's going to be so epic. Um, I mean, either that way we're just going to make like a huge bedroom that's going to have access to... Yeah, we're just going to make like a huge bedroom. We're just going to separate the beds maybe a little bit. So maybe we're going to have like a bed right over here next to this window. Okay, there we go, my bed here. Mateo's bed on this side. There we go. Just like that. Just like that as well. All right, much, much better. Uh, what time is it? 8 p.m. I'm going to wait a little bit more before I'm going to start going to sleep. Because next, all these tools are also going to have to make their way... I, I think I'm going to probably place these ones like all around this rock. Right? All the furnaces and all the stuff that needs um, to produce stuff. Because they're just going to have to pull stuff out of the chest. So they have to be close to the chest for sure. Let me just bring this one over. And this is going to be on this wall right by the sniff. stair. Right over here. Here we go. That's going to be for building. Uh, bring it over a little bit more. Because I don't want it to be clipping in the wall. There we go. And I wonder, can I maybe make those lights that are hanging on the wall? Yeah, these ones. Hmm. So, Firefly hanging lanterns. Oh, we need a lot of silk rope, though. All right. Oh, these lights are going to be so good if I manage to build them. Um. Oh yeah, these lights are going to be amazing if you manage to build them. I'm really curious how they look. So how are these going to look? These may actually be the best ones ever. Uh, I just don't know where the silk is positioned. Hold up, I think I have more chests on this side. So let me grab the silk out of this. And actually make more silk. I think this may have the silk, I'm not sure. Yep. Actually, does it? Yep, it does have a little bit of it. Whoa. This does look pretty cool. Firefly Lantern. Oh, you know what's great about it? Is that it's lighting up the place so much. I mean, look at the light it's creating. These are so powerful. Uh, customize S. Wow. These are definitely the go the way to go if you want to light up the place, for sure. The bad footing there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, why are these lights turning off? Oh, I think these lights are turning off automatically when daytime arrives. Are you kidding me? Huh. They are pretty cool then, to be honest. Alright, interesting. Um, So... Let's see what else we got to build. Daytime is coming, which means I'm going to be able to go ahead and get myself... Don't even need to boil it. ...even more wood. This one also needs to go bye-bye. Because we're going to have the farms over here. We're going to have everything that gives us the food, the water. Everything that we need is going to go here. Uh, including, of course, a lot of jerky we're going to need to place, right? Uh, nope, did not want to do that. Including a lot of these jerky buildings. 
think I'm gonna make like three or four of them because making jerky takes a lot of time. Uh, we're also gonna need another one of these jerky structures over here uh, in case we want to make like... Oh, not to mention, we probably need to move the move of the chest for food on the other side as well, right? Yeah, since food is going to be needed to be here. Hmm, not sure. Uh, let's just place jerky structures. Uh, nope. I'm going to move the light out of the way. There we go. And this is where we're going to have a lot of these racks. With, uh... Stuff that's about to jerky. And I think four of them is going to be enough, right? We're going to have some for food. We're going to also have some for the leather. So hopefully four of them is going to be enough. I think these drops... Oh, the drops are falling out on the balcony. And from the balcony, they're bouncing up. That's what's happening there. Well, that may be a bit of a problem, I think. This balcony may not be a good idea the way we made it. Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, just... Try to figure out where those drops are falling down. Now, we're probably going to have kind of like two bases, right? This one is going to be kind of like the underground base. And I'm saying underground is because we have kind of like uh, this structure. And when you're in here, you don't even know if it's daytime or nighttime. And we're also going to have another base that's going to go all the way on top of this tree right over there. And the thing is, is that we don't have to really build like a really long structure that's going to get to that side, right? Uh, oh. Taking a look. Wait, is that like a beehive all the way up there? You know what? Right here. I think that's a beehive all the way on top of the tree. Oh man, now that makes me want to climb all the way up there to that beehive. I have a feeling there might be like a bee, uh, a boss queen, right? A bee queen. We're gonna have to take out. Well, um, that is definitely gonna be on the quest for sure. Uh, for now, though, let me keep on trying to figure out what I gotta do next. All right, we got ourselves a lot of wisdom. I mean, look at that. There's a lot of it in the water there. Let me just take it all the way to our base here. And uh, keep on building up this place. Uh, whenever I'm doing this collection, I should actually go ahead instead. Uh, get myself one of those pallets with me. Fill it up and then bring it back home. That is definitely the easiest way to do it. All right, there we go. Three stacks. Hopefully, that's going to be enough for us to actually finish building this up. Uh, oh, wait. I think this is not actually finished, is it? Oh, no. Never mind. It is. It is. For a second there, I thought I needed something else to finish it up. Uh, another thing that we could actually do, we could definitely create kind of like a hole in our base. Kind of like a window, but do we even want to have a hole? I don't think I do want to have that. Oh, I fell down. Let me go back up. Let me finish this up properly. Uh, I think we need rope. So, let me go into build mode again and make ourselves a lot of rope. Hopefully that's going to be enough to finish this thing up. There we go. Come on, we got this. Please be enough. I don't know if I have enough with them though. We may not have enough. Uh, and I think I need rope again. Nope, I think we get. Well, let me go back up. I think I just need a little bit more with them though. And we are going to be completely done with the build. No. Yes, we're done it. Finally. We have finally built this thing up. Are you kidding me? This took so long. Yep, this uh, is definitely done. Now, one more thing that we got to work on is figuring out how this drop is falling. Because the way we have it right now, it's not going to drop properly. Uh, so I think we are going to have to uh, modify our balcony here a little bit, unfortunately. I'm quite, a, I'm quite a bit bummed about it, to be honest, because I kind of liked the way this was going. But we are going to have to customize it. Just to allow the drop to fall down, which means this needs to go away. And what we got to do instead is... Hold up. Let me place these ones in their spot again. Let me make my way back up. And uh, reduce the size of the balcony. It is what it is, but we had to do it. Fortunately, we just have to do it. So, let's get this one here. I mean, it's not that bad. It's fine. It's still okay, to be honest. It's still pretty good. It is a compromise, but it had to be done. And this goes back up here. There we go. <laughs> I like how the crow keeps on landing over there. 
definitely gonna have to try to make my way on top of that eventually because I think there is a, a scab that we can collect. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and move that painting. Uh, not painting, more like the uh, spot ahead. These are all gonna go inside our room, right? This uh, The whole place in here is just gonna be filled up. With a lot of these heads and trophies and everything that we actually took out in our adventures. That's how that's gonna look. Now at least I love it that we are finally done with kind of our base, the look of our base and everything. It is gonna take a while to figure out, uh, to get used to this structure. Not to mention, we are gonna have to uh, build a lot of stuff in here uh, in order to put in our rooms. For example, I'm gonna want like Quay scale fishies, uh, chairs, like berry chairs that look really, really special as well. I mean, look at these chairs. We can kind of make like a room over here. Just to enjoy ourselves. Just like that, for example. And we can easily just build it up. Oh, man, this looks so good. You can also sit down. Oh, you can launch on it. What? <laughs> no way. Lunging around. <laughs> that is so cool. But I feel like, um, I feel like these berry chairs look so much better. I don't think, uh, we either don't have what we need to build them or they're not close to the chest. So, let me build it here. Look at that. Oh yeah, these definitely look much, much better. So what we're probably going to do is probably have two of these and uh, one of the Quay one in the middle, like right about here. Kind of like a throne, right? Like a king throne. These are going to be just like that. This is going to be destroyed. And I'm going to need uh, another one of these crafted over here. And there we go. This looks so cool. <laughs> And right in the middle here, what we can have is either a table. Um, but I would love to have like a really beautiful table though. Oh, can we have a grandfather clock? What? Hold up a minute. Look at the thing. Are you kidding me? What? We can have like really beautiful furniture we can place around here. I wish I could actually have like a fireplace. That would be so awesome to have like a fireplace. All right, um, next up, as I was saying, I want to have like a clover table. Is there any bit of tables around here? No, I think the clover table is the only one at the moment that looks the best. So let me place it here, build it up, and bring it back. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, man. This is pretty epic. Um, this clock, I think... I think this clock would be better positioned over here by the window, maybe. Kind of like in the middle. Yeah, I think that's where it's going to have to be positioned. Uh, next up, we're going to need gum partitions or dry grass. I think the I think the dry grass one looks much, much better, to be honest. This one's kind of pink, and I do not like that. So, we're going to make like a partitioning in between our beds over here. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Let me rotate this one. Because I kind of want to merge it with this. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is so funny. And of course we need uh nothing. Actually, we have everything that we need. Perfect. Uh, but I think this one needs to be rotated. And placed about here. Uh, that is so cool. Alright, uh, what else can we build? Now, I wonder if I got a... Can I... Be shoulder pads, complete trail. Yeah, I was hoping that I got to go back to uh, Wendell there and uh, build more stuff. Uh, not to Wendell, actually. Sorry about that. Um, to our buddy, the robot. Uh, sign frame. Hmm. Oh, we could actually place these sign frames... I know exactly what you can do with this one. I think if I'm not mistaken, these same frames can actually be placed like right about here, for example. Uh, let me build it. 
use. Ah, uh, what? You can create paintings out of them, of course. And maybe create like... Oh, are you kidding me? This is so cool. What if I try to place it straight on this one? And now I build it. Oh, so now it works. Interesting. Yeah, I think it was glitched out or something. But look at that. That is how you actually make paintings. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> what? Well, I am uh, really loving this. And of course, we're also going to have to place a lot of lights on the rooftops as well. Just because nighttime, when it comes to nighttime, uh, our house kind of looks very, very dark at the moment. I don't think I kind of like this. And I think we need to find more recipes, many more recipes that we got to place around um, to improve the look of our house. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do that. All right. Anyway, guys, that being said, I think this is going to be the end of this for now. Uh, we have finally... Finally finished up the house, or at least uh, not 100% finished, but it, it is there, I guess. Uh, we are doing quite a bit of progress. And in the next one, we're probably going to start working on making some towers. Uh, maybe like in the corner of the map here, or maybe like a really big tower right over here. We're going to be able to jump on it and make our way with the zipline, of course, to the tree. And then start working on the tree base there, because that is going to require a lot of work as well. But that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye, everybody.